If you thought Dark Horse was too depressing of an album, then you're really not going to like Extra Texture. This is what I like to call a record company obligation album. By 1975, George was building up his own record label, aptly named Dark Horse Records, but still owed one more album under his contract with Apple, which was pretty much disintegrating at this point. Now, sometimes a contract obligation album can turn out to be a surprise classic. This is not one of those times. Even George himself was pretty dismissive of this record, being in a dark place following the poor reception of Dark Horse and his 74 tour. I mean, I agree, Extra Texture left a lot to be desired for me too, but I mean, that was due to circumstances beyond my control. It was also recorded and released really quickly. In fact, the single from this album, You, was recorded all the way back in 1971, during the sessions for Ronnie Spector's aborted comeback album. That song I wrote particularly in the Ronette sort of play, and I suddenly remembered I had this track, and it was such a good backing track. So I decided that I'd resurrect it and finish it off. Are you? Are you? It definitely is an upbeat track, similar to What Is Life or Awaiting On You All. The problem is that the song never really goes anywhere. It's like, how many times can we possibly say the word you over and over and over again? Are you? You, 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 you. Also, much like Try Some, Buy Some, you was produced and arranged for Ronnie's voice. And although George's voice is definitely back in full force compared to Dark Horse, it just sounds a bit out of place at times. When I came to sing, I couldn't believe how high it was, and I realized the key I wrote it in, I'd put it up about three tones for Ronnie to sing. And unfortunately, this is the best track on the album. You can tell they're really banking on the single's popularity. They even play another brief snippet of it at the beginning of Side 2. I usually like it when concept albums do this, but here it's like they're saying, this is all we got. And I gotta tell you, the rest of the album is pretty rough to get through. It's just one morose slow tune after the next. Obviously, George has taken influence from Smokey Robinson. You can tell from the title of the song, Ooh Baby, but it just doesn't work and gets really boring really fast. And while Dark Horse at least had a couple of thought-provoking moments, like Maya Love, there's very little Eastern philosophy to be found on this album. The answers at the end probably comes closest to this. Yeah, I just sitting by the fire playing the guitar, and I looked up and there it was written, carved into the wall. But even that one just seems to drag on. You might look at the title This Guitar Can't Keep From Crying and think, oh, is this a sequel to While My Guitar Gently Weeps? Well, actually it is. And it even features Jesse Ed Davis playing lead guitar, just like Eric Clapton played on the Beatles classic. But that doesn't mean it's any good. It's another disappointing track. And while Jesse was a legendary guitar player, he doesn't even really get a chance to stretch out here. I'll admit that a couple songs like Can't Stop Thinking About You or Tired of Midnight Blue are among the most listenable songs on the album. The latter especially being the more upbeat of this album's numbers, and one of the only ones to feature some sparse slide licks. I feel like if they had more time devoted to this album and maybe worked out the tunes a bit more, they might have had a couple of hidden gems on this record. But as it stands, Extra Texture is the first bad record in George's catalog. It's actually the only George Harrison album that I don't own on any format, not on vinyl, not on CD, and aside from the track You, I don't even own it on iTunes. I force myself to listen to it a few times, I might add, the same way most people do, and it really was a chore to sit through. Extra Texture definitely gets a bad fish from me. The obvious essential track, and really the only good one, is You. If you really want to hear more from this album, I guess you can check out Tired of Midnight Blue, and maybe the answer's at the end, but even then, I wouldn't really recommend them. If you think Extra Texture is a good record, please tell me why. But you know, if the theme is yin and yang, then maybe the next record should be better, right? Well. I happen to have it here on vinyl. Let's check it out next time. I'll see you then. Mm -hmm.